You know what? It is another special edition of the latest news to keep you in the groove with Maya. I'm Cody. This is my buddy Chris. And we've What's got up? a very special guest on the phone from The Voice in the top 10, Cheyenne Jones. How are you? Woo! Thank you for asking. I'm doing good. How are you? We're doing great. Even better now that we get to talk to you. Our friend Maya is here Thank about you. to pepper you with a bunch of questions. Maya, take it away. Okay. Um, how has being on The Voice impacted you? I'm sorry, can you repeat it? I can really hear you. Yeah. Um, how has being on The on the Voice impacted you? Um, being on The Voice, it helped me a lot. Um, I learned a lot of things. And I am growing up every, in each day and every step I take. And it's just showing me how to be a professional artist. Nice. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, were were the blind auditions terrifying? <laughs> <laughs> or how um, would you describe the them? Blind? If it's not terrifying, how would you describe them? <laughs> um, the blind auditions was kind of terrifying for me because it was all new, and I'm like from kind of like a hometown, like just like um a small town, and. You know, when you're just standing there and you see a lot of people, it's just like, wow, like you're actually here in California and you're um, auditioning in front of a, a lot of judges and legends. And I was just like, wow, this is really happening. But at the same time, I was like, this is my journey and my gift. So this I do for the rest of my life. So I'm going to bring it my own. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, at some point you got to kind of <laughs> put, the, put the nerves aside and just realize this could change your life, right? Oh, yes, most definitely. Um, what made you choose Jennifer Hudson as your coach? Um, the reason why I chose Jennifer Hudson because she was um experienced with the competition and she does have like she she had like um like times in her life where she didn't make it on um American Idol and she just knows and she understands me and she's a great singer and she's an actress and She's very down to earth, so I thought she would be a great coach for me. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, so what singing experience did you have before The Voice? Um, my singing, singing experience before The Voice was I used to sing at, like, football games um, and basketball games mostly, but... I always used to just sing in my room, and I have, like, a little amp where it has a microphone and a little speaker to sing into it. It's just, like, small, but it doesn't have, like, these kind of stuff. But um, I just imagined myself on a big stage, and I always thought I was going to be on a stage just like The Voice. So that's the reason, that's one of the reasons why I tried out for The Voice. Now, did you practice some dance moves along with the singing? Um, <laughs> most definitely. I practice a lot, a lot of singing and sometimes dancing. Um, I'm a dancer too. <laughs> Excellent. Now the singing box, was it the kind yeah. that had like a little knob for reverb and another one for like echo? And then you can make your voice sound cool, <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> yes. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Um, when you audition for the voice and, um, well, I love every like your song choice for every week on the voice and um i don't know it was like when you auditioned for the voice and they said that um you were 15 because my sister and i were also 15 and i was like i if she lived in colorado i would be best friends with her (laughs) (laughs) i was like i would want to be best friends with her I would love to be your friend, best friend. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, I think it was especially when, uh, for the knockout, when you sang uh, Ariana Grande song, Tattooed Heart, I got very excited because I love Ariana Grande. Um, <laughs> so. I love that song. Yeah. <laughs> what else are you wondering, girl? Yeah. Um, so, is there anyone from The Voice that you stay in touch with? 
Um, well, since now, we haven't really, like, we have, like, this little group chat thing that you have, like, on your iMessage phone. Since now, we haven't texted at all, but during the voice, we um, text all the time, so I was in touch with a lot of people. Well, didn't catch it, but now we're just all laid back and not texting at all. Very, it's, it's very few, like, just once in a while. Nice. Good, good to keep in touch with uh, people you shared experience with. Cody's wanting to know what Adam Levine's phone number is. Yeah. If you could just tell her that real quick. Yeah, you know, <laughs> just, just look me up. We won't share it with anyone but this entire children's hospital. But all so the kids no watching upstairs. You know, they'll just, just kidding. They'll get, say happy holidays. That's it. We promise. Yeah. Just say we like your work. Yeah. And that's it. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> oh, while we're asking Maya, for phone numbers, <laughs> Maya says, "Maya says, forget uh, Adam. She'd rather have Miley Cyrus's <laughs> phone number." <laughs> she's very nice. Oh, she. Yeah, says. that's good. That's good. To, that's good to hear. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, hear. she's one of my favorite singers. So I want. <laughs> yeah, I want to talk to her. They, don't... <laughs> they um don't let us give like they don't give us. Their numbers. Oh, I wouldn't imagine they do. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we wouldn't expect you to have oh, them wait. at all. That's funny. Like on the first day you show up, they're like, just so you know, nobody's giving you their number. Yeah. So, because some crazy people in Colorado are going to ask someday. So don't do it. Don't yeah. do it. No, of course, we wouldn't expect that. I right. was just joking. I think Cody was serious. <laughs> you might be no, right. Definitely. You might be right. All right. What, what's your next question, Maya? Okay. Um, do you plan on coming out with your own music anytime soon? Um, most definitely I do. I plan on um, sharing my music to the world. Um, I have a lot of songs that I've written. I just got to get back on it again because I've just been focusing on the voice, um, doing covers of other people's songs. But I'm re really ready, but I just got to get back on the ball with my new song. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Um, who would be uh, your dream collaboration? Um, can it be more than one? Oh yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I would love to do a collaboration with uh, Mariah Carey and Beyonce. Ooh, at the same time, now that would be a pretty amazing song. That's, yeah, <laughs> that'd be pretty good. I have a feeling it might be popular. Those yeah. two artists are fairly popular. That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> are you sure Ed Sheeran wouldn't make an appearance somewhere? So most people say Ed Sheeran. Oh, oh yes. Ed Sheeran. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I mean, if everyone's just jumping in, they <laughs> might just as throw well everybody in there. throw Ed Sheeran in there. <laughs> All right, Beyonce and Mariah, we'll, we'll stick with that. That's good. Yeah. Um, so what song do you love to rock out to? Um, I love... Okay, well, I don't have, like, a favorite song in particular, but I do like a lot of songs. I love a lot of songs, but I love listening to Beyonce, which I did on The Voice, and I love all, like, Mariah Carey songs and Morning Hill songs and Whitney Houston songs and Beyonce songs. I just love them all. They're really good. So many you can't even pick a favorite. That's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how you know you're a true fan. Yes, uh, um, so who is your favorite singer and who is your favorite band? Um, my favorite singer would be Mariah Carey because she's kind of like all over the show. Well, I am too. And Beyonce is one of my favorite singers. And my favorite band? Um, Metallica. The Beach Boys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the Beatles. I, mean, I think they're a band. The Beatles. Yeah. Yeah. The Beatles, yeah. they're totally a band and Very a bug so. all, <laughs> all at the same time. <laughs> do, do you yes. have, but like in that in that uh in that genre that you know, who who might you uh say was your favorite band? Um or whatever genre you like the most. That's a tough choice, right? I yes. <laughs> oh, my gen my genre that I like the most is um soul and R and B. In, in pop, but I don't even know if they do they even have been in R and B. 
Yeah, there's and not songs. nearly as many bands. Yeah, it's mostly singers. So I you're think you're right. I think you can. I think you're safe with just listing your favorite singers. Mm-hmm. All yeah. right. <laughs> All right, Maya. Okay, what's now, next? well, Maya, who's your favorite band that you suggest that Cheyenne should listen to? In real life. In real life. Okay. You might have heard of them. Up and coming <laughs> from boy that bands. little show. Boy called band. Boy Band. Yeah. Check them yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. We promise they're not paying us to say that. Nope. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Um so what show are you currently binge watching? I'm sorry, like what is my like, favorite show like I like to watch? Yeah, your yeah. favorite T V show if there's one that you're watching a lot of right now. Yeah, what what show are you currently binge watching? Um I would say Empire and Star. Because it's about the music business. If you know that I'm so. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Empire, you said? <laughs> Empire, yes. I love it. Right on. You watch that show, Maya? No. All right. Well, well now it's on I've your heard list. Of it, get your, get your parents' permission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For sure, we always we always yeah. have to add that little that little note. There's kids upstairs. Yeah, they watch it with me too. <laughs> <laughs> what else, Maya? Um, <clears throat> what movie could you watch a million times? Um, BFG. That's one of my favorite movies. And the Christmas Carol. Ooh, a Christmas Carol with like Ralphie and all yeah, that. So- oh, I'm thinking of Christmas. I love Story. those. <laughs> Christmas Carol and BFG are those movies you've seen Maya no Christmas Carol really are you nice. talking about the old one mm-hmm, the old one. Oh, okay classic okay. going in the Wayback Machine that's cool <laughs> yeah. thank you um so who is your favorite actor and actress um my favorite actor would be, uh, my favorite actor would be, okay, Beyonce, she's the actor. Yeah. Actor, no, actor. <laughs> and then the actor would be um, Eddie Murphy. He's really funny. Oh, and he's um, so funny. <laughs> he's really funny. <laughs> yeah. And, kids, and Jim Carrey. And, Jim oh, yeah, Carrey, Jim Carrey. Also very funny. Yeah. And kids would know Eddie Murphy from being the voice of uh, of Donkey, of course. Yep. Yeah. From Shrek. Shrek. Yeah, most recently. That's where kids might know him. So that's that'd be Eddie Murphy. He's awesome. He's funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He really is. Yeah. Um, so uh, what what is your favorite concert that you've ever been to? Um... To be honest, I never went to a concert in my whole entire life. I'm hoping to go to one, but I haven't been to one at all. That's so awesome. That, that is you, cool. Because- you haven't <laughs> you haven't been to a concert, but you've put on a concert for like all of the world. How do you feel about <laughs> that? Isn't that you. crazy? It really is. Like I've never been to a concert, and you know, I I guess concerts are so um lit, like they're so hyper and fun. Yeah. Um. And me doing one, it's amazing because there's a lot of heartwarming people, like, coming to see me, you know, during The Voice. Like, they have people that they want to see in particular. That is so cool. That's awesome because I know a lot of our kids here at the hospital haven't necessarily been to a concert either. So that's that's cool to know someone famous like you hasn't been to a concert either. That's cool. (laughs) Thank you. Okay, well, then the next follow-up question would be, what do you want your first concert to be? Your first big concert. What would you want it to be? That you're um, that you're in the audience watching, not on stage. <laughs> um, I would want my first concert to be that I'm actually watching in the audience. Would be um, Los Angeles, California, and Las Vegas. Oh, oh so you'd want to go Argentina. to L.A., Vegas, and who would you want to see? <laughs> who would be on stage? Mariah. Um, Beyonce, yeah, and Mariah. <laughs> Beyonce and Mariah together. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's awesome. Sweet. What else you got, Maya? I think you got Thank one or two you. more, right? Just one? Yeah. All right. Um, so my last question is, who do you consider to be a real-life superhero and why? Um, uh, 
Let's see. I believe my family, my mom, my dad, and my brother, because they uh, supported me all through my life, and they've been there with me through hard times and good times. And it's just amazing to have them with me here today and still supporting me till this day. That's awesome. That's so great. Thanks. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for calling in. Um, I was so excited when, um, when, cause I think I had like reached out to, um, someone about interviewing you. And when I saw they responded, I was like, they actually responded. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Well, just know Thank that you. if you're ever in Denver, well, once you get that, that CD out, um, that album out, and you're uh, touring, c make sure you find your way here to Children's Hospital, Colorado. We'd love yeah. to have you. Yes, most definitely. Yeah. Awesome, Cheyenne. Well, good luck in yeah. the future, and thanks so much for making the time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, happy holidays. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs>